He's a, a track star, a sprinter. He'll be looking to get the ball instead of Kuyos here. Kuyos is on the far side, Cognigny on the near side. And Mike Whalen will be kicking it off for Lehigh University. Whalen hailing from South Plainfield, New Jersey, an engineering major, six foot one, 188 pounds. The Lehigh engineers in their brown and white. And the 117th game between Lehigh and Lafayette about to get underway. With a stiff wind blowing from left to right, it wouldn't surprise me to see Whalen put that ball in the end zone. Of course, that would be an effective defensive play right off the bat. Kick coming up the field. Cognigny comes, takes it right on the goal line, coming right up the middle to the 10, to the 15, cuts inside, fumbles the ball across the 20-yard line. And they unpile down there, and let's see who has it. Lafayette Re ball, recovered by Lafayette. Cognigny took the ball at the goal line and brought it out to the 20-yard line. He fumbled three yards up, and that's where Lafayette will put the ball in play. First down from the 23-yard line. We'll pick up the Lafayette offensive line on the screen right now. And into the backfield, Novak, Shepko, Gatehouse, and Williams. Ball is carried by Roger Shepko, moving up the middle, gets across the 25-yard line, gets it out to about the 26. Again, on the play of three yards, Shepko uh, set Lafayette's all-time single-season rushing record this year, 1,231 yards, surpassing Tony Giglio's previous mark. You can't help but note, too, that the uh, fumble that was not recovered by Lehigh was the 15th out of 23 fumbles that they failed to recover this year from the other team. Shepko is the deep man in the eye. Novak, the quarterback. Lafayette moving the ball from the 26-yard line. On the draw, the ball is handed to Shepko, and he is thundered down back at the 20-yard line for a loss of five yards. Looks like Dave Zablowski and Russ Becker uh, leading the charge there. Big front four for the engineers, averaging about 238 pounds. You see number 91 there, Becker, uh, joined by Zablowski. Shigo coming up late on it, uh, but a great stop by the two uh, middlemen. Third down now and seven for Lafayette. Opening moments of the game, no score. Lafayette taking the kickoff, have brought the ball out to the 25-yard line. Those are the statistics of Novak going into the football game. Novak's back to throw right up the middle. He's got a completion at the 30-yard line. Throw Fair. right into Gatehouse. Very close to a first down. They're going to have to measure, I think. Looking pass to Gatehouse at the 33-yard line. It's enough for a first down for Lafayette. We'll look at that on replay, Eddie. Uh, Gatehouse has been a fine receiver. He's got the best hands on the team. Uh, Jack, by the way, is a converted defensive player. First year playing on the offense. Cut across in front of both outside linebackers there, Ken Rosen and uh, Doug Pearson, and made the catch. Just enough for the first down. First first down of the football game. Opening moments here in the first quarter. Scoreboard clock is not operative right now. We can't give you the time to play. Perhaps it will be a little bit later on. Ball is handed off now once again to Shepko. Moves over the left side of the Lehigh line and has no gain at all as he brings the ball out to about the 32-yard line. Dave Zablowski, number 60, making early penetration with John Shago coming up making the tackle. Seemed to be a bit of a mix-up on that handoff. Uh, Shepko barely got the ball from Novak. Gain on the play of one yard. It'll be second down and nine for Lafayette. Moving the ball from their own 33-yard line. Frank Novak at quarterback. Rolling on the option. Pitches out. Shepko tries to turn the right side of the Lehigh line. and gets across the 35-yard line before he's hauled down by Kenny Rosen. This is the first 4-3 defense that Lafayette has seen since the Columbia game. They had great success in that game, getting to the outside on that very play. Lehigh seemed to do a good job in covering at that time, however. As you can see in the score by quarters, the teams were remarkably even during the course of the season in the opening 10 games. And both of them, as you can see, are big second quarter teams. But we're in the opening moments of the first period. Third down and eight. Novak straightens up. Flat pass. He's got a completion at the 41-yard line. Looking pass to Dave Barang. 
very close to another Lafayette first down. It's within uh, three, four inches, but it may be short. Mike Tui there uh, guarding on the play. It's very slightly short. Pass coverage was really very good on that play. Shell, this is Frank Corbo, one of the freshmen. Frank Corbo into the game and actually it will just be short of a first down by about a half a yard and so Lafayette will be forced to punt the ball away. Tui will go back for Lehigh and he'll be standing back around the engineer 20 yard line. The punter for Lafayette will be Bob Shar, the senior from Phillipsburg. Uh, Bob will not be starting as a free safety position today. He's been out for a couple of weeks with a shoulder injury. He will however handle the punting duties. Char will be punting from the Lafayette 40-yard line. Kick into a very, very brisk win. Tui calls for a fair catch and has it at the 29-yard line, and that's where the engineers will move the ball first and 10 from their own 29. Lafayette's offensive line on the screen right now. Anastasio, Joseph, Miller, Sitar, Bath, Lacey, and Dan Ryan. Into the backfield for Mikulski, Raybuck, Godbolt, and John Osler. Wing T right now for the engineers. The quarterback is Larry Mikulski. First play of the game, Mikulski, play action pass, completes to Ryan up at the 33-yard line. Stop made by Frank Luzzi coming up for Lafayette. Luzzi is substituting for uh, Shaw in this game. Shaw normally the free safety. Bobby Marr has moved back to the free safety spot. You see, Luzzi does a good job of coverage here. Not much you can do with that play. Of course, it does look like double coverage, but on the down and out, he's going to isolate on one man, and it'll be interesting to see how much double coverage the Leopards can put on Danny Ryan. Raybuck moves in motion. They give us to the fullback, and Godbold is powered down as he gets up to about the 34-yard line. Very little gain, if any, on the play. Met briskly by Joe Sladani, the defensive captain, four-year starter for Lafayette. Along with Luke Dreyer on the play. Gain on the play of one yard. It's now third down and four. Scoreboard clock is out, so we cannot give you the exact time remaining. We've played about three minutes here in the first quarter. No score. Lehigh nothing and Lafayette nothing. Mikulski back to throw again. Up the middle, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver at the 45-yard line, and that pass was intended for Tom Nichols. Coverage was excellent by the Lafayette secondary. Luzzi did a very nice job on that play. The Lehigh fans calling for an interference call, but I think he got there just at the same time the ball did. Looks simultaneous to me. Of course, Tom Nichols starting uh, today for the first time, six foot four, 218-pound senior, filling in for Paul Anastasio, who twisted his knee against Northeastern last Saturday. And so on the fourth down and four situation, the ball will be punted from the 20 yard line. A kick with the wind and that ball really sails. Ball picked up on the 15, 20, 25. Cognigny returns the ball across the 25 to the Lafayette 27 yard line. And so on the exchange of punts, the Leopards pick the ball back just about at the point they gave it up a few moments ago. Part of the 19,000 fans that have jam-packed Taylor Stadium here on the Lehigh University campus. And Craig Anderson believes, and we've got to agree, that this is the largest football crowd in the history of Lehigh University football. Nearly 20,000. Ball at the 26-yard line now. The Leopards moving it out of the eye formation. Ball is given to Shepko, a missed tackle. And Shepko comes on close to the 30-yard line. Shepko on the season has gained over 1,200 yards this year, and as you can see, a splendid average, over seven yards per carry for Roger Shepko. Lafayette moving the ball, no score, first period football here at Taylor Stadium. Lafayette in white has the ball at their own 31-yard line. Ball carried to the 32-yard line. Coyos on the carry. Gain on the play of one yard. On the counter. Middle, middle linebacker John Shago coming across nicely. He's a hard hitter, six foot two, 225 pounder. Uh, only a sophomore shows promise of being another of the great Lehigh linebackers. 
So Cuyos on the carry gets the ball out to the 32 yard line where it's third down and five. Frank Novak at quarterback, eye formation, slot right. Novak's got some pretty good protection and then it gives away and thundering in on the left side, Russ Becker to drop him down. Novak very fortunate to not fumble that ball away to Lehigh. He dropped it but was able to fall on it. And so it's a fourth down, long yardage, fourth and 12 to be exact. The ball will be punted from the Lafayette 10-yard line. Mike Tuohy back for Lehigh. Shars kick again up into a wind picked up at the 49 yard line and Tui just manages to cross over into Lehigh territory at the 49 and so the engineers pick up excellent field position for the first time in the football game at the Lafayette 49 tackle made on that play by Roger Carrillo Carrillo was the starting fullback for Lafayette last year is now their strong safety it's sort of interesting that he was the leading rusher last year with about 350 yards Has that changed this year, Ed? Ball carried by Godbolt. Comes up the middle and has two. Now, Lehigh hoping to take advantage of a tremendous uh, wind advantage blowing from left to right, uh, as they did in the second and third quarters of the Delaware game. So far, they uh, haven't been able to move the ball consistently. But field position promises to be a very important part of this game, particularly with the wind. Second down and eight for Lehigh. Ball at the Lafayette 46 yard line. Mikulski fakes, straightens up, up the middle, incomplete at the 35 yard line, but an interference is going to be called, I believe, on the Lafayette Leopards, as the call may be that Tom Nichols, the intended receiver for Lehigh, may have been interfered with. Automatic first down for the Lehigh Engineers, I believe, coming up on the interference call. Good call by the official there. Bob Marr being a little bit too aggressive. And so it'll be a first down for Lehigh. Engineers first first down of the game. Down now at the Leopard 34 yard line. Ray Buck moves in motion. Ball handed off to Osler. Up the middle he comes. Crosses the 30 across the 25. Down to the 24 yard line. Gain on the play of nine yards. John Osler, a big hole in the center of that leopard line, and Osler streaked through. See the big fullback, uh, Junior Osler, going right up the middle. Power runner. When you're 225 pounds, you're generally about as big as most of the uh, linemen out there on the field. Each team's offensive line actually larger than the defensive line. Mikulski is going to throw it on second and short yardage into the end zone and it's overthrown intended for Raybuck pass overthrown. Mikulski figuring on the second and one that he could easily pick up the first down elected to go for the big bomb and overthrew. Danny Ryan on the up pattern of course he's been doing that all year uh, setting a national one double a record with 14 touchdown passes this year he was open but overthrown. So now we move to a third and one Ryan comes out of the game now for Lehigh. Ball spotted right at the 25 yard line. Third and short yardage, less than a yard for the engineers. Going for the first down, and it's easily made at the 22 yard line. Raybuck up the middle. Joe Raybuck considered the best blocking back among the halfbacks on the team and a sure handed uh, ball carrier. Hasn't been carrying the ball an awful lot this year. 88 uh, carries for 275 yards going into the game, 2.9 yard average. Uh, but has been gone too frequently on short yarded situations for both first downs and the goal line stands in the end zone. Midway through the first quarter, Lehigh now down deep in Lafayette territory. The ball on the counter, Raybuck trying to turn inside, could not find an opening at all. Manages perhaps two yards as he gets down around the Lafayette 20 yard line. But Lafayette diagnosed the play well, flowed to the right, and was able to stop him right at the 20. Great pursuit by Rich Doverspike coming from the other side. Play was a little slow developing, and Dover Spike came around and caught him from behind. Second down and eight. Osler is the lone deep back now behind Larry Mikulski. Mikulski out in the flat, completes at the 15-yard line. Short of a first down, but the pass is completed to Dan Ryan. 
About a five yard pickup there to Ryan. It looks like the engineers want to test that Lafayette secondary and get the ball to Dan Ryan as much as possible. And of course, the more times they can throw short to him, the more they can open it up uh, later on in the game. Nice catch there by Ryan over his shoulder and a good tackle uh, by that's, the Leopards. That's John Byrne on the coverage. John is one of the Villanova transfers that came to the College Hill this year. How many Villanovas are playing uh, for Lafayette? John is the only starter. There are uh, two others on the team. Chris Sexton now moves into the backfield, and he has the ball, and he is dropped for a four-yard loss. Fine defensive play by Ed Wallace coming up for Lafayette, and that will stop the Lehigh offensive thrust. The engineers will attempt a field goal, or at least it appears so. The ball will be snapped from the 19-yard line, and Mike Whalen into the game. Senior, senior Mike Whalen got off to a heck of a start early in the season and set a Lehigh field goal record with a 49-yarder, developed some problems uh, in the New Hampshire game, but has broken out of his slump and uh, actually was a big uh, big contributor to last week's victory over Northeastern with three field goals and two extra points. He'll try here a 37-yard uh, field goal. Kick is up with a big wind at the back, and it is good from 37 yards out. Mike Whalen splits the uprights. And midway through the first quarter of play, Lehigh moves out in front of Lafayette by a score of three to nothing. Time out on the field. It's time, time in for Ed Wetzel for Lafayette College. Thank you, Shell. A Christmas concert consisting of a wide variety of choral styles from many periods will be given by the Lafayette College Choir December 4, 5, and 6 in Colton Chapel. The 60-member chorale will perform under the direction of Professor William Mellon. Tickets are required for admission and can be obtained either in person or by mail from the college's public information office. For mail orders, send a stamp, self-addressed envelope before December 1st to the Public Information Office, 1 Markle Hall, Lafayette College, Easton, Pennsylvania. And so the 37-yard field goal by Mike Whalen gives Lehigh a 3 to nothing lead in the opening moments of this football game. And Denny, that was the time to try it with that gale blowing in from west to east behind his back. He actually put it over the bleachers behind the goalposts. I venture to say it could have been uh, 55 yards and on a day like this uh, distance is certainly not going to be a factor at least not from left to right. Kuyos and Cognigny are back deep. We got a glimpse there for a moment Denny of uh, some people who purchased seats in the old baseball part of the stadium. I can't believe they're back there. They're looking over a set of bleachers in a parking lot to look at the game. There was Larry an effort Sheridan to... informs me that we have four minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Thank you very much, Larry. Larry is uh, keeping unofficial time. The official time is being kept on the field. It normally is kept up here in the press box. Cuyos is at the top of the screen. Cognigny on the right. Back for Lafayette. Whalen with the wind at his back. Drives one way down the field. Cuyos takes it in the end zone and elects not to run it out. And the ball will come out to the 20 for the Lafayette Leopards. The second straight kick into the end zone for Whalen. The first one about two yards in. This one five. And the Leopards, of course, wisely choosing uh, not to run it out from that far back. Lafayette has had a lot of trouble establishing their ground game so far. Of course, uh, that's not unusual. Not, not many teams have had success running against the eye this year. What is it, Denny? Uh, only one player has gotten over. Uh, 29 uh, carries for 111 yards in the first game of the season. Frank Novak in at quarterback for Lafayette, number 15, as the Leopards move to get back in the game. Play action pass to the left side is complete to the 27 yard line to Al Cognigny. Cognigny's been a very steady receiver for the Leopards. Uh, he missed three games during the year because of a rib injury and continues to wear the flat jacket. Here in the first quarter as we pick it up again on replay and Novak right on the money. Coverage by Tui was good, but it's good for a seven yard completion. And this time, very little, if any, gain on the play. That was the play, Shell, that uh, Shepko worked very effectively against Columbia, but Lehigh seems to have it, the outside covered much more effectively. No gain on that play, so the Leopards now move to third down and three. Lehigh three, Lafayette nothing. First quarter football here before a packed house of better than 19,000 at Taylor Stadium on the Lehigh University campus. Ball carried up the middle goes Craig Williams for Lafayette and he is close to the first down and will have it. 
Craig Williams was a second string defensive end last year. Uh, Joe Sladani, the middle linebacker for Lafayette, calls him the human thigh. He's a very punishing runner, but he's used most effectively as a, a blocking back for Roger Shepko. First down Lafayette now at the 32-yard line. Shepko is the deep back on the eye. On the option, the pitches to Shepko, turns the left side of the Lehigh line. He's dropped smartly by Ken Rosen, just over the 30. Ball spotted at the 34-yard line. Gain on the play of two yards. It'll be second down and eight. I'm impressed with the uh, lateral mobility of Shigo at that middle spot. They, their, their outside backers seem to be split quite a bit. But Shigo's covering all that ground in the middle. Cognigny and Jack Gatehouse come out way wide to the left for the Leopards. Novak on the counter play. The ball is given to Shepko, and he has no yardage at all. Gets back to scrimmage at the 34-yard line. And that was John Shago that you referred to, Ed. He really is a bearcat up the middle. He's from Allen High School, William Allen High in the area. And he was a fullback linebacker prospect, so he has plenty of quickness to go along with that raw strength. And he's become a heck of a linebacker in his first starting season. Third down and eight now for Lafayette. The ball at the 34-yard line. The engineers leading by a score of three to nothing on the strength of a 37-yard field goal by Ken Whalen. Novak's back, was looking for Gatehouse, decides to keep the ball himself and may have the first down across the 40-yard line. Gatehouse was trying to break free about 15 yards up the field. The ball was kept by Novak, and he ran out of the pocket, and he has enough yardage for the first down. And so Lafayette picks up a big break on that one, Eddie because it looked like he was going to be trapped and the Leopards would have been forced to punt it away. This is one of Novak's great assets, and I think you'll see... Uh, he doesn't run as a, as a matter of course, but he does like to get out of that pocket if he has to, and he's a very shifty runner. Uh, there you see Lafayette's record last year, 3-7, and 8-2 going in this year. Incredible turnaround. High formation. Second man through is Shepko. Good running yardage. Gets up close to midfield to about the 48-yard line. The bottom of the stack, Pete Smith, number 62, leads the defensive rush for Lehigh. I think you might see in this play how effective Craig Williams is as the up block back there. He really cleared the, the last block that freed Shepko to get into the secondary. Second down and four. Novak on the option to Shepko into Lehigh territory. Stop made by Shigo again. Will be close to another first down, maybe short by about a half yard. Roger seemed a little tentative there on the outside. He waited a little bit for Craig's block. So it's third down, less than a half a yard. The Leopards into Lehigh territory for the first time in the football game. Have the ball at the engineer 48-yard line. I look for them to go to the right side here over Eddie Stahl, the big right tackle. Pitch to Shepko, and that's where he goes. Shepko stopped by Shigo. Again, very, very close to a first down. Depends where they mark it down, and uh, it will be awfully close. This one's I within believe, uh, uh, two are, inches. Yeah, they're still shy, but I, they're going to bring out the sticks anyway. Closing moments of the first quarter here at Taylor Stadium. Wouldn't surprise me to see Bill Russo go for it here. You can yeah, see how close, and I guess they are going to go Russo's for it. Russo's talking to Frank Corbo. About a foot. And so a big call coming up now for the Lafayette Leopards. You can see they're shy by about a foot. I'm sure the first period is about ready to end. We don't have the official time, but unquestionably, the uh, end of the first quarter is a big factor here. Lafayette has successfully held the engineers, and uh, even if they do fail, they probably will get the win uh, shortly. Williams is the inside man. 
deep back is Shepko. Ryan, ball is handed off, and let's see, I think he's got it. Novak on the sneak, only needed about a foot, and he picked up close to a yard, down to about the 47-yard line. Went right over center Gary Yogan. Unofficially, the fourth first down for the Lafayette Leopards. Effective call there. He just went on the quick count. Here you see it again. Good block by Yogan. Back now to live action. Novak at quarterback for the Lafayette Leopards. Ball is given to Shepko, and he is stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And it's the man from Freedom High again, John Shago, doing a tremendous job up that middle. Either Shago's in the Lafayette huddle, or he is a tremendous anticipator. He must have 10 unassisted tackles already in the game. He gives a lot of credit to the front four. Uh, they do a great job of reacting up front to give him a chance to operate and key on that ball. Uh, against Millersville, he felt he could go sideline to sideline without worrying about the uh, runs up the middle. Second down and 11. And that is the end of the first quarter of play here at Taylor Stadium. The score at the end of the first quarter, Lehigh three and Lafayette nothing. Today's telecast of Lehigh Lafayette football is made possible by an underwriting grant from the Stroh Brewery Company, Detroit, Michigan, and the Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. And its distributor, Banco Beverage Company, Allentown, Pennsylvania. And by Pentamation Enterprises, Professional Data Processing Services, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And by Lehigh University and the Lehigh University Alumni Association and by Lafayette College as a public service to the Lehigh Valley community. Second period action coming up. Lehigh drawing first blood in the football game on a 37-yard field goal by Whalen, Mike Whalen, midway through the first quarter of play. And that's the way it stands now. Lehigh leading Lafayette by a score of three to nothing. The Leopards on the move have the ball in Lehigh territory at the 47. No gain at all on that play. The engineer's defensive line has been remarkable, and Shigo again at the bottom of that pile. Carried by Craig Williams. Uh, Craig uh, does not get a chance to run the ball all that much, except when they get near the goal line. 94 carries, 368 yards this year, which actually is more yardage than the leading rusher had all of last season. Third down and 10. It's our first look at the shotgun. Novak standing back at the 46-yard line on the shotgun. Takes the snap from center. A little more time to pass. Up the middle, the pass is overthrown at the 40-yard line. Defended against by Pete Smith, number 62. Some people wonder why that number in the defensive secondary. He's a member of the special teams, and because of the uh, lineup on that uh, special teams, he does have to wear a number in the 60s. Ed Opatkowitz was the intended receiver on that play, and so it's fourth down and 10 now for the Leopards, and for the first time, Shar will have the wind at his back as he punts for Lafayette. Mike Tuohy standing back for Lehigh at the 15-yard line. Sees the ball go out of bounds, way down around the four-yard line. Well, that was very fortunate. A bad snap from center, but Char was able to recover and do a nice job with the coffin corner kick. Lehigh on the season. Record duplicate of Lafayette. The engineers, eight and two, and as many of you know, of course, both Lehigh and Lafayette losing to the same two teams this season, New Hampshire and Colgate, and both have won eight games this year. So the engineers now with their back against the goalpost at their own four-yard line. Fullback John Osler up the middle for about four or five yards. Uh, what the engineers needed to get away from that goal line there on first down. Osler was able to bring it out again on the play of four yards. It'll be second down and six. Current Lambert Cup ratings, Lehigh at the top of the heap with a record of eight and two and Lafayette also eight and two, currently rated fourth. Again, the engineers in a full house backfield. This time the carry is out to the nine yard line as Mikulski tries to get a little bit of running room. Stacked up nicely by that Lafayette uh, defensive line. Lafayette uses, they play a 5-2, but their three inside men are covered by four different people. Every series, they rotate a different person out. 
Ball at the nine yard line. Engineers out of the huddle. Third down and six. Again, this time Godbolt moves in motion. Mikulski, the quarterback. The fake. Mikulski, play action pass, thrown low at the 17 yard line. Pass intended for Godbolt, and so the engineers, unable to move the ball out, started at the four, got it out to the nine. Now they'll be forced to punt it away, and Lafayette should pick up excellent field position. Nice coverage by John Byrne on that one. Mikulski had to be careful not to cut it too much inside because Byrne was in position. 